today is our 100th day of school our 100th day was incredibly hectic i didn't do all of the things that i wanted to do okay guys so it's after school and we've had some drills today so um everything that i had planned didn't really happen because I knew if I ever No, ma'am. Get that off of me. I actually have um, two pair of glasses because I can't seem to keep up with them. And I can't put my hands on other pair. See? And to me, it, feels, I, it dries out my markers. And you know, as a teacher, I'm not about that life where you dry out my markers. Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Toy from the Class Stacy Life. Today is our 100th day of school. I will let you guys get a good shot of that in a moment. But um, I'm running behind this morning, so I have a few things that I need to print off and run copies of for our standards today. Um, and yeah, I got a lot going on, so I won't check back in with you guys today, probably until my kids go to PE. And then I'll give you a look at our 100 day centers and all the things that we're going to be doing today. So um, I didn't get to sign out with you guys Friday because everybody was ready to go and I had to leave at 3.30 versus I try to stay till about four to make sure I'm set up for Monday, but I didn't get to do that. So I wanted to come on and show you guys what I am doing. I don't know what my hair is doing today. Um, what I'm doing for the 100 day activity. So the first thing we have here is a Fruit Loop necklace. And I just laminated my mats and then so they can reuse them. And I scooped. I use a scooper I picked up from Walmart. A huge bag of Fruit Loops that's over there on that table. And four separate bowls. So, and they can only scoop out with spoons. Here's the instructions for that. Use a spoon, place 100 Fruit Loops, then place them on these pipe cleaners. The next activity they have is spin to 100. So, they have these little spin papers here. And they're going to lay this on top and then hold it and spin it. Um, I will leave a link for where I have got my spinners off Amazon and a link where all of these pages came from. The next activity is how many words do you know? Um, I'm going to have them set the timer for a minute and a half and they're going to get to do it however many times like over the course of eight minutes because each center is going to be eight minutes. Um, <clears throat> this activity is roll, add, and color. So they will each get two dice. They roll them, add them up, and color this page whatever color they want to this activity here is if i had a hundred dollars so they got clipboards and pencils and they get to write about if they had a hundred dollars and i have a little word wall that i didn't put out yet but i'll put out in a moment and i'll show you guys after school the next activity is a rolling race so everybody rolls However many they get, they go to that space and the first one to get to 100 wins. This activity is called building blocks. So they each get these and these are just some cheap um, Legos I picked up from Dollar Tree. And so there, I counted them out. There's 100 in each one and then they're just going to build a, an object using all of those in the last two minutes to clean up. And final activity is the Dixie Cup, act, well, the cup activities where they will use, um, and I'm sorry that that's not zooming for you. They're going to get a cup, get the cups, build a structure with all the cups, and clean up the last two minutes. So, a lot of this stuff was last minute. Like I said this morning, I got here super late, so I did not get to 
set up everything like I wanted to. Um, there'll be a few clips here and there in the next few. Um, I'm gonna put a couple of clips in here of them working. I'm gonna try to blur them out as much as possible. I'm super hot too, that's why I'm all sweaty. Um, but yeah, and then real quick, I'm gonna show you guys my shirt. Did you see this? Yes, my students are 100 days smarter. I did this last night, I really love it. I will leave you a link to the XC shop that I use. And then the last thing we have to do is we're gonna do our 100 day snack. And so here's all of our snacks and things here that I have not gotten out yet. But I'm going to record me kind of putting that together. And then we have these little snack mats to organize 100 pieces but i'm just going to give everybody a gallon size bag um and but we're still going to do this activity okay guys so that's going to um wrap up for my break i gotta hurry up and get my kiddos and then um i will get back with you at the end of the day let you know how it went okay guys so i have to hurry up and leave today because everybody is leaving and at my school you cannot stay so um that is why when I come in in the morning, my room is never organized because I can't really stay long to get it that way. And then I can't get here super early in the morning because I can't drop off my baby until 7. So that's why you see a lot of cleaning and organizing going on. So hopefully this week will be the last week that's happening. So yeah, so that's it for Tuesday. I will holler at you guys in the morning. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today is Wednesday and um i typically greet you guys in my classroom but wednesdays i have morning duty so um when i get to school i go straight to my duty post and then i get my kids so the next time i can sign on um will be when they go to um pe or specials today so um really quickly this morning i wanted to kind of talk about our 100th day and i, I talked about it a little bit yesterday but our 100th day was incredibly hectic. I didn't do all of the things that I wanted to do. Um, I showed you guys all of the centers that we did and everybody got a chance to do centers, um, to do their necklace, their Fruit Loop necklace and everything. But we really didn't build a tower like I expected. It didn't really turn out that way. So, um, and part of that is because we really don't do STEM in first grade. Um, and I do want to incorporate more of that next year so um, that's an activity that I think I'm going to keep in um, a bin because I do have um, stem bins and I'll show you right here um, these are the ones that I purchased and I also have these which are morning bins um, but we typically don't do morning bins anymore at the beginning of the year I did them a lot I think for me it'll serve a better purpose as like fun Friday activities versus morning work I like for my students to work on a um, do now um, and turn it in so I can kind of see where their headspace is especially on things that I teach them so we do um, what uh, what is basically known as a bell ringer um, and that's just a quick question or a sentence in the morning that they have to either correct or fix or just answer a question about and then um, I am starting a new thing for um, our do now in math which will be um, number of the day so number of the day will basically be just a number that they have to um, manipulate well today what I plan on doing is putting it on the board and working it out with them today and tomorrow and Friday and then officially starting number of the day on Monday so I'll show you guys um, it on the board but I will show you the sheet and everything and what I'm doing with it on Monday um, let's see so we're doing number of the day and I have a morning work packet that I purchased from TPT and I'm using those as well those are my going to be my morning routine it covers a lot of skills including a little bit of math it has like two to three math questions at the bottom so that really works um, and then so today is going to be super jam-packed we're going to be reading um, two stories I'm going to see all of my groups and we're going to do some guided reading activities that I've already gotten planned out and laid out um, 
and I'm also going to be doing some guided math groups. Um, both of those, um, guided reading and guided math, I do small group with my kids, but I don't think it is as effective as I want it to be. Um, in other words, with the centers going the way that they go, sometimes things get lost. Um, and um, it's very difficult for them to um, get all the things that I want to get done at my table because we just don't have a lot of time, especially um, getting everybody else set up. So um, I'll show you guys what my kids will be doing before I get back to the table and then what we'll be doing during the table. And then I am going to reiterate our guided reading um, rules when I get back. Well, not guided reading rules our small group rules um, when I get in the room. So it is officially 7.30, so I need to head in. So I'm gonna go clock in and go um, do my duty and have one of my older kiddos to drop my stuff off in the room. And then I will check back in with you guys when my kids go to specials or if I have any other time in between. Okay guys. Okay guys, so it's after school and We've had some drills today, so um, everything that I had planned didn't really happen. Um, I also um, gave them a morning work slip that has like eight questions on it, and I'll leave a link to where I got this from. Um, so that's what I did for that, and yeah, so I got slips that I wanna check. I'm not grading them, I'm just gonna put whether my kids need help or not, so that when they come to my center tomorrow, we um, can work on our grammar, making sure that we have all of our things down pat. So my guided reading is really gonna—it has been jam-packed because I have to put it into three days and not uh, four, which is like what I typically do. So um, the only thing I have to do now is I have all my things in the grade book. I just have to key them in because I need grades and I need scores for my RTI planning. So if I'm able to stay till 4.30 today, then I'll probably, um, or five, I wish I could stay to five, but at least 4.30 today, um, I can get my table cleaned, um, get my Thursday folders done and all of my documentation printed out. And now I have a visitor. And I have to go because I have a running club this evening. So, okay, guys. So it's officially um, four o'clock, a little bit after like four or five, and I have to leave at like four twenty. So I have like fifteen minutes to really like get as organized as I can get. So, um, I want to tackle the countertop because it'll be easier for me to clean my desk in the morning. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's my cutie leave. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday, January the 24th. Um, I was able to get a few things done yesterday, but of course, you guys know um, that I'm not able to stay late at school, which I've never been in a school where I couldn't do that. So it's very different. So I really have to get a lot of things done in the morning and during my planning time if I don't have meetings. But of course, today I have a meeting. Um, so what I'm gonna do this morning is just finish picking up what I was doing yesterday and lay out myself for my guided reading table. And so I have about 20 minutes to get that done.
Okay guys, so the bell just rung, so I'm headed to go pick up my kiddos and I will check back in with you later. Okay guys, so that's gonna wrap this up. I basically have been cleaning up this whole time and I don't want you guys to see that. Um, so I'm gonna probably cut those clips down a lot. But anyway, I pretty much got everything done that I wanted to do and in the morning I'll run you through what our plans are for Friday and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. Good morning, beautiful people. Today is Friday. <laughs> um, test day yes today is the glasses day for me i actually have um two pair of glasses because i can't seem to keep up with them and i can't put my hands on other pair see i don't like wearing my glasses but i do have um i only have an issue in one eye so i can't wear contacts because it feels weird i'm, I'm not sure if people who wear contacts or who don't wear them regularly but had them in their eyes before they know um, I can feel it, you know, and the fact that it's not in my other eye just feels really weird. So um, this eye's been bothering me, so I am wearing my glasses. I'm hoping to find my smaller pair though because they're a little bit more comfortable. They're the ones I had first and they were broken in a little bit better. So yesterday I was able to stay and get a lot of work done. Um, I got a lot of things organized and I started um, getting together next week's lessons. I've been really thinking about changing the way that I am teaching my units. I just feel like it is, my kids are not having enough time with the units. And so um, one of the things that I'm gonna take a moment to do today is just look at the remainder of the calendar and see if I can break my Wonders unit down into seven day plans. So what I wanted to start doing is going from Monday to Wednesday, no, Monday to Tuesday. Tuesday is the testing day. And then Wednesday to the following Friday. Um, and so that way it'll be on a complete cycle. I'm gonna plan it out, run it by my principal, see what he says, and if it's a success, I feel like giving my students more time to work with their words, to work with the different types of spelling, to give us more time in um, guided reading, covering those particular comprehension skills and fluency, I think that that will definitely help. Now, if I do that, one of the things I'm definitely gonna do is incorporate two fluency passages because I want to test them on fluency every week. So they will still get a, um, a homework sheet on Monday, um, but the fluency passage that they test, they will test on a fluency passage every week. But they will do their weekly test every other week if that makes sense. Um, once I kind of write it down and get it on paper, I'll definitely show you guys. And there may be a plan with me video. Yeah, it'll probably be a plan with me video. But anyway, um, so this morning, we have, like I said, we have all of our tests to take. So I'm gonna show you what they're gonna be doing. So this is a story that we've already read. So they're gonna find a picture in the story and draw it. Then they're gonna answer these three questions. Um, and right now, what I'm trying to teach my students is how to um, use their text to answer their questions. So um, I'm going to let them know what page each of these items are on and I want them to go back. And I'm gonna actually also give them a sentence stem for each of those questions. So I'm gonna do that really quick this morning. We've also been working on prefixes, pre, un, and re. So they just got a, um, a little worksheet here and it's really, really dark because it was on colored paper. But it's basically six words like reuse, which means use again, unhappy, which means not happy, and um, 
and then pre's not even on here just re and un on this one and they also have a spelling sort to do so they can continue practicing their spelling words and then i'm also going to um retest them on has and have today so they have a they have a practice sheet where they have to fill in the blank with has and have and then i'm going to use this one as their um the other one as their quiz because um yesterday's quiz was not successful um i want to reteach it and i'll probably test them again monday or tuesday um but i want to keep hitting that skill because next week we go to do did and does i believe so um you'll also see me create those anchor charts at some point so really quick i'm going to show you guys this and then i'm going to pop off so i can get ready for the morning before i had to go pick up my kiddos which is in 10 minutes tabletop easel pad um, anchor chart paper I thought I ordered two but there's only one in this box so I need to check with Amazon and see why I only got one so I'm glad I opened this yeah there's only one in the box this is the older one um, this was actually grandfathered into my classroom so I still have a few sheets that I can use from here and this one is lined that one is not I do like that it's not lined um, because um these bigger poster papers like i have this big size too it's in the back um it's not lined and i actually prefer it not being lined even though it helps me to line some things up the only thing about this paper that i don't like is the fact that this top part here if you can tell there's a difference you can really tell over here if you can tell the different shade there um the top part is the sticky part so when you write there the um, whatever markers you're using they lighten up and to me it feels I, it dries out my markers and you know as a teacher I'm not about that life where you dry out my markers I'm not about that so um anyway I am going to set you guys up this morning to just watch me set up really quickly but all I'm doing this morning is getting my copy folder together um for what I plan on copying for next week's lessons um because I already have my guided reading table ready for testing um and ready for um, to put my quizzes and things in so um, and then I'll walk you through what I did yesterday to organize my back table but I will do that probably either after school or during my planning time so but there is one thing I have to do before I can do that I'm going to take five minutes and clean off my desk because it, it's ridiculous and I want to commit this year to not leaving my desk like this anymore so this is the last day I'm going to leave it like that okay guys so I'm headed to go pick up my kiddos and I will see you guys during my break all right guys i'm back um it is now after school as you can see my room is empty i wasn't able to check on um to check in during my planning time okay guys so i am just going to quickly get my stuff together so i can go run copies for next week and then i'm going to let you guys know what i'm doing as well as do a plan with me and my teacher um planner so i'm just gonna go ahead and sign out today i don't want to make you guys watch me quickly tidy up because i gotta hurry up and get out of here because they're gonna be kicking me out pretty soon so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then i'll check in with you guys on monday for a new week thanks so much for watching keep god first in everything you do and remember to teach with lots of class and sass